I got involved in this project um, through the Youth Council. Um, the leader of the Youth Council invited me to come along and sing and so I was already involved in a community project when I got involved in this. My mum found a, uh, um, an ad on Facebook and she thought it would be interesting and she told us about it and we decided to come. I got involved in this project because I thought it would be a good experience. My history teacher gave me the letter and I read it and I thought it would be a great opportunity. I wanted to learn more about uh, World War II and also learn how to use camera. The shepherd will tell I didn't know much about the, the project before, beforehand, but I, I knew that we were go, going to make it in, interviewing uh, ch ch children and their experiences of World War II. I only knew that it would be about um, interviewing the um, the children at the time of World War II. I knew it was going to be interviewing people from the older generation about their memories from their childhood during World War II. Tomorrow, just you. When I first arrived to training, I, f I felt nervous but excited at the same time because I get to um, try out something new. I was quite nervous because there were some people that I didn't know and I just didn't know what I was going to be doing. I was fairly nervous when I first arrived, however it, it was very very quickly apparent that I was very much welcome here. It was a nice atmosphere, um, everyone, treated you, everyone treated me like I, they didn't know me before and I very, I very quickly settled in. Tomorrow, just you. I was expecting to learn how to interview people and how to operate the camera. I was expecting the project to be quite different. Um, quite interesting to learn of uh, different perspectives of the war, uh, especially if people's opinions or people's experiences were very different to that of the general kind. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I was just expecting, you know, take on a few life skills and then just get on with it. Honestly, I think I was quite excited to hear the stories of somebody from a different generation because often I feel like in society we're categorised into our different generations and it's very, very rare that different generations of people actually get to mingle and share their stories amongst one another. I feel as if it's quite important to talk to people of a different generation um, as to understand um, how uh, past events affect them and um, why certain things happen in a certain way. I think it was quite cool to be honest because we're always moaning about how we have to walk the dog but when they've been they have to take refugees to different schools on the other side of Rugeley and stuff. Fate is kind. I've learned that interviewing is actually quite a hard job and but it is really really fun. I learned about different people's lifestyles in World War II. I learned like, how it was to live in that time as a child and like, how, what you'd have to do like, if there's an air raid siren and stuff. I learned to set up the camera, start filming it and how to interview people. I think the main thing that I've learned from the process so far is probably how to talk to people, how to really communicate what I want to say and how to guide a conversation and an interview in a way where I really get to learn the interesting stories and the happenings in people's lives. I think the best part of the project was possibly, it's po po possibly the actual interviews themselves, um, being able to sit back and these questions being asked and hearing the, some of the answers there are, it's really, really inspiring. People back then, they went through a hell of a lot more than we've gone through now, and I really, really think that that's, that's pretty amazing. Best part of the project would probably be listening to the men and women talking about what they did when they were young in the war. The best part of the project was hearing about hearing stories about people from World War II. I don't think so far there has been a worse part of the project, no. In my opinion, the worst part of the project was being interviewed because it's like really nerve-wracking. Honestly, I don't think I have a least favourite part. I've really enjoyed everything so far. 
I would like to find. I, I I would like to find out more more experiences from different point points of view. I definitely like to uh, find out the perspective of the female during the wars because they played a different role to males, whereas the our male counterparts they were going out and they were actually batting on the front lines. Females were back here and they were processing bombs and ammunitions and it'd be really interesting to hear how that went. I'd like to find out how to edit the videos which I do. It'd be nice to like learn about the like, after the war, like people when they're becoming adults or something afterwards, like see their perspective instead of just a child's perspective. I'd like to find out even more perspectives of World War II because, um, especially from other areas as well, um, because most people who grew up in Rugeley would have had a very similar experience, whereas those growing up somewhere else might have had a totally different and possibly even a better or a worse experience of World War II. Troubles melt like lemon drops away. I think it's actually quite good because it's um, improved my confidence and also I know a lot about World War II when we do it in history at school. I could use the skills to probably interview more people and learn more things about the other generations and everything. Be because I, I'm aiming for a career in me media, uh, I, f I feel like I, I could take the skills in filming and record recording and it will assist me if, if I get a job in that area. Oh, why, oh.